start off right. <laughs> So, we're playing some Silent Hill. We're going to finish it up today. Now, listen. No, we can't turn the light off. Before okay. you... Sorry. Before you... <laughs> too, <laughs> too spooky. Before you... Uh, before we get into this too far, uh, one, uh, last time, remember, Sybil split up from us. She went to the mu amusement park, and we went to the lighthouse. The lighthouse was a... Uh, a, a, a dead end. A, a dead end. Uh, so, now Sybil's at the amusement park. And we oh, gotta well, go. I can't wait till we go see <laughs> Sybil at the amusement park. I don't remember. It's going to be a really good time. When we go to the amusement park to see Sybil, right? Now, so right? Uh, Parker's alluding to <laughs> stick stick around at the end. Cause so so first, uh, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to beat the game normally. And then at the very end, we're going to do two things. Uh, the first is I'm going to show you an alternate way to beat the final boss. And the second, and actually Parker found this out. I've played this game like 20 yeah, times, <laughs> and I never... Well, yeah, no. He discovered it out of our group of friends. It's like a really weird glitch involving what well, Parker discovered it himself. <laughs> I informed the speedrun community of it. But yet yes. there's this really weird glitch that... They, when they called it a glitch, we were like, yeah, maybe it's just like an Easter egg. And then we watched some of the footage, and we're like, yeah, it's good. It's I mean, it's weird because it lets you use, like, a very plot-specific item that yeah. otherwise can't and, be used and anything. And it doesn't even show up like you can. Now, we're seeing Sybil at the amusement park, and everything's going to be fine. I mean, she looks like everything's fine. <laughs> Wait, how would we see this? Isn't this all supposed to be from his perspective? Is there omniscient viewpoints? I think so. Oh. I guess I haven't noticed that yet. I think there's yeah. It's I guess probably the first time that so this is happened. this is sewer part two. It yeah, I is felt like everything has been. It is way less hard than sewer part one. I really? Say that as I lose. Uh, it's harder because that was a, that was really stressful. No, no, no. It's it's way less hard. Oh, oh, less hard. Okay. I actually haven't gotten to the point where like I memorized these, and I just want to row through it. So by the way, we're about to see an enemy that is only used in this one area. And, like, there's only three of them that ever exist. It's kind of bizarre. Are you gonna kill one? No. <laughs> you get to see they are right up here. They, they act just like those kids. Oh my god. But they, they have, have claws. claws. Yep. I actually oh, think I passed it. Uh, so, uh. Um, one of the things that I'm gonna be working on is after after this part, I'm gonna be trying to set myself up for a pretty specific speedrun of it. Yeah, it's this, cool sound This effect. sound is ridiculous. Yes, it is. Hey, look, there's, like, what? there's some amusement park horses. How are you supposed to play this right? and not want to lose? Just <laughs> Akira, <laughs> Akira, <laughs> Akira uh, ya Yamaoka. Yeah, did it's a, like he just like did such a good job. He just recorded like a train going by. Over so there. this part is one of my least favorite parts, not necessarily because it's hard. Oh, by the way, so do you see that right there? That little that these black. Yep. Creepy. That's the thing that we'll be seeing later. Anyway, I hate this part, not necessarily because it's hard. There's really only one or two enemies around, but there's no map, and it's really difficult to figure out where to go. It also runs at 10 FPS or something. Yeah, like that, that also makes it pretty tough. So it's very, like, I've done Jeez. this, the other day I've done this probably five or six times, but I can, like, never get it quite right as to where you're going, simply because it's, like, just so, I don't know, there's so well, many, everything like... everything looks the same. Everything looks exactly the same. Right, so I get there. I saw some hand Oh, so this is the beginning of the amusement park, right? Right, this is the amusement park. Yes. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so that's not it. I don't see one amusing thing about it. See, so yeah, I just have such a difficult. Not amused. I do. I just have such a difficult time with this because everything looks the same, and it's like, essentially, the rule is just kind of stay right, and you eventually get to it. But it's also like, I think I, I, I think I just wanted a circle, right? Because that. Yeah. I mean, we saw that. This is just one of those areas that I'm just gonna have to do over and over again when I practice for the speed run, just because it's like, again, it's well, like. Go to the right there. I don't think you can. No, you can't. Um, sorry, I have everything else really down pat, but this, because there's, like, no map and whatever, is very, very difficult for oh, me. Oh, it's right there, it's right there. No, it's not. That's the, I need to go to the merry-go-round. Which, by the way, that's something that Silent Hill does. I think this... That's something that Silent Hill is going to use over and over again, is my craziest one might be it, actually. Yeah, this is. Yeah, this is it. Okay, cool. I don't know, do you, do you see what I mean? Ow, it's just, like, very, like... 
I don't know, random. Uh, so... Also, you're getting on a merry-go-round. That's what that thing was in the middle, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like another type of thing. I just hate that, like, a map doesn't even exist that you can really quickly be like, oh, yeah. No, so, so symbols here. Yeah. Now, here is a... I uh, remember last time we did the Kaufman side quest, which is a big part about getting the good ending. This right. is the other part about getting the good ending. And this is one of those things that I don't know how you would ever figure out. Like, I tried to do it the other day where I was, like, trying to mess around and be like, well, maybe I would figure this out by myself. Nice. Clearly she is, she is like, Stone. possessed or something. Oh. Yeah, she... Yeah. Four. <laughs> Four. <laughs> so the goal in this... So the previous cutscene was Sybil 419. This cutscene, Sybil 420. So the goal is that you have to have her shoot you, or shoot at you, like, literally, probably 15 times. Really? Damn it. Okay, good. Yeah, if she, like, hits you, it takes you very far down in health, because it's a gunshot. Well, that's consistent with what I know about guns. <laughs> Get, look, guns don't kill people. Bullets kill people. I mean, I guess you could hit somebody with a gun a lot, but... I'm sure it's been done. I mean, legit... I'm sorry. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. It. Oh, great. Oh, I'm sorry, Spencer. Ammo. And hey, look, that was like 12, 15 shots, right? Yeah. So she throws away her gun. Oh, now it's time to fight. And now you get close to her, right? She gets close to you. Okay. And... Oh, and how would you know to use that? Uh, apparently I'm not going to be close enough, even though it always worked every other time. Well, whatever. And you throw this on her. Well, stop, just stop watching the LP right now. Yep. Just Rip. Up. Um, <laughs> and then the thing that was, like, possessing her comes off. So, like, to do that, to, to do this, you have to know to pick it up in the hospital. Remember, it's right. not very it obvious. Just, it was just on the ground. Right. There are, like, some things you pick up that give you, like, very, hell? very, very, <laughs> very minor hints. But, Should like, we... it's never, like, throw the red liquid Wake on up. the stuff, right? Out of it. So, like, you have to, like, I guess at first Sybil. you would be, like, I, I don't want to fight Sybil, right? Yeah, yeah. But right. she would have to shoot at you, like, 12 what? times. Okay. It's not like a, a six bullets where you're, like, oh, okay, well, what's going on here? I'll you know? And that this is the big thing that determines good or bad. Bad is... Hurry. No Sybil, and good is Sybil. Oh. The, the plus is only having Kaufman, well, you know, figuring right. that. <laughs> I'm not sure myself. So, so like, like, if you you could kill Sybil there, you could fight. Oh yeah. You know, oh, yeah. Kill her. oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And we're actually going to show you again. When I said at the end, the, at the end of the time, uh, we're going to show you a way to actually get past that. And I don't know how anyone figured it out, but we're going to save it till till the end of the game. Um, is that his real daughter? Side of the highway. No. No Big reveal. Where she came from. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. So yeah. Um. Cheryl uh, was found on the side of the highway, and they adopted her. My wife was. Which sick. was what was in that intro cutscene. Yes. And it didn't look like she <laughs> was After we beat better. this game, we're gonna watch the intro cutscene, and 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 then we we'll see Cheryl. why we didn't want to watch all of it. In fact, two seconds in, they show you one of the keyest parts, and I'm like, dude. There might be some connection between Cheryl and this town. Hmm. The thing that I like about Silent Hill so much is every single one tells a different story about Silent Hill. Silent Hill really is like Cheryl like a personal thing for each person I that goes through like all their fears and their demons and all this no kind of stuff. What. You know, that's why I got so mad. In Silent Hill 2, you have Pyramid Head, who's very famous. Right. And he is literally made up by the main character as like, because he has this, uh, without going into it, he has this like uh, thing that he wants to be punished for, right? Right. And then they put a uh, pyramid head in every Silent Hill movie that's right. just there. Yeah. It's like, hey, look, it's like in the Resident Evil movies. Hey, look, it's Nemesis. It's like, oh, great. I figured you'd show. So this is Alessa. Hold it right there. <laughs> Hold it right there. I don't know who you are, what you're trying to do, and I don't care. Just one thing. Dude, Harry is friggin' boss. Let Cheryl go. That's all I ask. Could you imagine just talking in this, like tone of voice, like, after all the stuff that's happened. Oh, damn! Was that a gun, or was that just her pointing at you? It's her, uh... Oh, it's her, uh, Frieza. Damn. This isn't even... I actually haven't even, like, like I said, when I practice, I skipped all the cutscenes, so I kind of forget all the cutscenes. Uh, yeah, that's Floros, the thing we picked up in the church. Floros! Semi-L! 
and this is a big key to like, she's like, uh, cool. Dude! Nice. She's like, I got wrecked. So, where's Cheryl? Give me back my daughter. Wow. I don't want to give, I think there's still like one more like minor reveal, so we'll talk about it as we do the last dungeon. <laughs> you know, he's such a fool. Where's Cheryl? Where Every she? time she appears. Wouldn't you? Dahlia Gillespie? This is the end of your little game. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. Could she be? <laughs> Could she be? <laughs> You've been a ghastly little pest, haven't you, Alessa? Haven't you? Alessa? I was careless. <laughs> Thinking you couldn't escape from our spell. Whoa. Also, this I want to point out one thing. Didn't this music. <laughs> Pop this on at CMB. I think we tried one time to listen to the Sinal soundtrack, and we were like, nope, nope. <laughs> yeah, okay, just imagine this in the store. <laughs> oh, no, you're half indebted to this. Play this, but then only yourself. sell like uh, things that come from hey, you know, like blankets. What are you talking about? <laughs> Ah, feels Listen, good. Listen, my dear little girl, there is one thing <coughs> I need you to do. Y yes, Mom? No, get away from me. Bad girl. Oh, jeez. Oh. And, uh, yeah. Let's go. Game over. No. Yep, that was it. So, wow. Credits. It's a great ending. <laughs> great, great ending. Uh, actually, hey, who's our favorite nurse? Hey, hey there. It's Trev's waifu. Yeah, it's, she's just great. Is she possessed too, and you have no more liquid? She's worse than possessed. Lisa. What happened? Where's Alessa and Dahlia? And Dahlia? Harry, listen. Dahlia Gillespie. <laughs> Something you said before has been bothering me. Uh, oh gosh. yeah? I just can't get it out of my the head. The whole world? What is it, Lisa? What is it, girl? So I went to look in the basement. Dang, you got past all those, like, evil nurses? Wow. Teach me your ways, girl. Like you said, there were these creepy rooms. Yeah, with like a bunch of bad guys that you got past, right? Nothing really unusual down there. <laughs> but while I was down there, I got this weird feeling. Nothing really crazy or weird. But... Like I'd been there before. Like something happened there. But I can't quite remember somehow. Go on. What was it? This is riveting. Harry, help me. Girl, I got you. I'm so scared. I can't take this. <coughs> it's only a temporary thing. <laughs> what, this sound hell? This life? life? When you were not <laughs> That's pretty morbid. We'll all be uh, dead someday. Remember after a while. No. My favorite part of the ending is where... You don't understand. ...was where Lisa marries Harry. Wait. Where do you think you're going? Oh, jeez. And... Where... What's that? Ugh. Well, who cares? We'll never find out because it's the basement. So that was a long. weird. You want to see one of the best uh, camera angles of all time? All right for those boys. Oh god! Oh my god! You like that? At least that was only to go there. It's pretty cute. Imagine if there was an enemy. Yeah. I'm being summoned. Uh, so something interesting, if you save at that save point there, uh, it, uh, the, it shows up just saying nowhere, oh, that's cool. which is pretty cool. So that's, that's what they refer to this place as, just nowhere. Cheryl. So I kind of forget how, now if they do, if they go through the end of the story and they don't explain everything fully, then I'll go through it, but I'm not going to explain all that we just saw 
just in case the ending actually does a good job with it. It won't! Who said that? Every Silent Hill ending is the worst, by the way. It does not matter how good or bad you did. It's terrible, so... Oh, you mean worse, like, for you? Like, as a person, like, like the things you get? Yeah. Like, not like... Oh, well, also... Oh, bad endings. No, I mean, they're all bad endings, too. I mean, what do you expect, you know, with a game like this, you know? So, we are going to... Uh, now, this place is called Nowhere, so it doesn't follow, like, any particular rules. Like, you can go through one area of, like, the... The bait, the hospital basement, and then very next you would be in, you know, a classroom, oh, whatever. Like a yeah. Are you uh, there's also again? there's also no map uh, for it at all. That makes sense. So it is what it is. Um, this is definitely one of my favorite areas. Now our main thing that we're going to be doing here is we need to find five. Um, I don't know what you call them, like symbols. Uh. And there's a bunch of different keys and all that, but the main the main thing we're doing is getting the uh, is getting the five uh, the five symbols. So this key stuck in here. We use pliers. Pretty simple. Get it out there. Um, and each obviously key that you get opens to a new semi area where everything else is locked. I would say in this area probably. Oh! I don't ever remember the camera angle being that bad all the times I played. Wow. Cool. You know it's going to be even worse oh, when you wow. try to do a speed run. They were hugging. <laughs> like, I probably played this part five times yesterday, and I didn't have a single encounter like that. But that's fine. All right, so here's here's the thing that I couldn't figure out if I tried, right? So there's a keypad over there, and they have this thing right here where it says the Grim Reaper's list, and it has all these different people and their ages and stuff like that. I don't know what that means. I never have figured it out. The answer is alert. <laughs> and, like, you can figure out that it's, like, ba it, like you take one from each person's name because there's five names. I don't know how it, do how it does it. Wait, can you look back at it quick? Yeah, sure. Uh, okay, so... Got it. it obviously has something to do with the... Uh, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe uh, if Parker or someone wants to look up why it's alert, then... Maybe whatever. It looked like the first letter of each uh, thing was the A L E R T. That could be it. Just put it in order. Maybe that's it. We'll take a look. So that's the the whatever of Solomon is the first um is the first of the five things we need to pick up. Um, and we got ourselves a really fun time coming up in a little Mary. bit. Lisa, so this is the part of the, the game that if you're a kid playing it will give you nightmares. I am still alive. Even yeah, Trev's right. Is dead. Yeah, okay. You just put him in order of age. Okay, well, really then that's actually kind of easy. But that's the thing. But you would not you figure that out. You always want to make it bigger than it is. Yeah. yeah. I have noticed like... it before. Lisa, I love you. Stay by me, Harry. Please. All right. Yo, man. I'm so scared. Help me. Save me from them. Sure. Please. You're walking really normal. Harry? Oh, gosh. Hey, girl. So, yeah. What? Did you, you push, push her, her, or is that just, like, force? So... Um... Don't really know what to say about this. Oh, my God. Did you do this? It's just... Did you kill her? It's so. just a heck of a thing. Uh, she's having herself a day. She's, she's, uh... Lisa, that's not a good look. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, it's quite a thing. Sorry, Harry. Alright. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> He's like, I'm Is out. that... The last we'll see of Lisa? It's gotta be. I don't know, maybe. Now listen, last time I mentioned the puzzle, the puzzle that we were on for literally days, right? Yeah. It's coming up. And uh, so I'm gonna take a little bit of time to show it to you guys real quick just because this, this took so much of my childhood. So you look at this and you're like, okay, two. Okay, what's that, right? You're like, and these are all just different, like, astrological symbols. For instance, I know that uh, Cancer is July, so I think it's the seventh one, but you're like, ten? Like, what's ten right. about it, right? And you're like, okay. And you go to you go to this, and you're like, 
four, but, you know, Taurus or whatever is whatever, right? And then you're like, zero. Looks like how many appendages they have. And it ends up being the amount of appendages. That Except, is Except, but, but, there's... Like, so this is six because it's uh because it's got uh, arms right but like that thing that was like like um a scale I know right that's there's no appendages also like if you're gonna say a fish has no appendages then a scale has no appendages <laughs> it's not great <laughs> like it's not a great it's not a great puzzle to to be quite honest uh, so we get the stone of time which we're gonna take to sounds really epic. Yeah, it's pretty epic. Stone of time! And now, unfortunately, there's bad guys again. All right. Uh, yeah, they're all Lisa. They're all Lisa. Lisa needs braces! We're going to go in here, and we notice that there is an old clock. There's a square hole at the center hole. It's a key. How can we get it? Well, how about we just randomly take this stone of time. Get it, clock. And try it out. Ding! This is my favorite part of the game. <laughs> <laughs> you incur damage and can die from this. So we get the. Are the, you serious? No. Uh, we get the key of Haggith that opens this door, and this door leads you to the uh, what you call it, the um, elevator. We're gonna head up to the second floor because there ain't no fourth floor this time. Yeah, this time. Who knows this they'll time. Finish, they'll finish construction on that and, while we're uh, in here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're going to switch over to the handgun. Which, by the way, in, in this playthrough, I ended up like having so many extra bullets. Uh, but it is what it is. And uh, we're going to have some non-sound effects. So this, when I do the speedrun, I'm going to try to get around it, but... While I just don't feel like messing around, I'm just going to knock these enemies down because it's really hard to get past them. Yay! Um, so this again, if you if you uh, recognize it, is the uh, what you call it? The uh, what is that sound? It's a great sound. Is the uh, antique? Uh, is the is the jewelry shop that we yep. saw at the antique road show? Um, we're going to head over to this direction. One very important thing for for me to remember for later is to unlock this door in front of me. Unlock this door in front of you. That takes you out to the, um, you know what, I'm going to actually say that for later. Uh, that actually takes you out to the um, uh, original place where you were, the okay. original corridor. So I'm actually going to go out there right now. We just picked up a camera. What could we use that He just that ran for? by the bullets. He is greedy. I mean, not greedy. Yeah, it's like... Just leaving it for the so next person generous. coming through. For Silent Hill 2 guy. So we're going to head up to the third floor. I think one of the neater puzzles in this part is uh, coming up. I really like the third floor because there's no enemies. Ah. And that's just nice. But there's a thousand puzzles. And nah, it's actually, it's actually pretty small. So this is kind of like that other church. And you look at this and you're like... The light to the future, right? And you look at this and you're like... Boy, that is a that's wow, a hell, that's, that's a, a hell of a puzzle, a right? A puzzle. So what you do is you shoot it with a yeah. gun. Is you take a picture of it with flash, and that oh, shows up. Oh, now you gotta make that symbol. Yeah. Down, right, down, left. Down, right. Down, left. Going pretty. This cursor goes pretty damn slow. And um, the other one doesn't really... The other side really doesn't have anything. I'll do it if you guys want me to. Yes! Okay. So in this, we get the birdcage key because reasons. Reasons! Uh, all right, well, whatever. I'm actually blowing through this really quickly, so that's good. Uh, we got... This music. Got lower right triangle... I think that's all I need to memorize. Lower right triangle. We got this. We got. Yay! Uh, there's actually this help. This music is all I hear until I have my coffee on Monday. <laughs> so I got put on FM 97, and it's just this. There's a health <laughs> back in here. Uh, 
And we're gonna head down to the first floor because why? Well, there is a key and a bird cage on the first floor. So we're gonna check it out. Ding dong. We're gonna head out here. We're gonna go past all these nurses. The sound design in this is just great. Like it really is. I mean, for what it needs for to what do, it needs to be, absolutely. right? Absolutely, <laughs> great. Is so we go in here, and there's a bird cage, <laughs> and there is a key in it. Oh, well, and I you guess can it hear a bird. <laughs> can you? We're gonna pop over here real quick. Until you pick up the key, there is a bird. Noise. And ah. we are going to kill the. By the way, get ready for it. <sighs> Invisible enemies. What? Which is which is a thing and now. Unhearable gun sounds. Yep. <laughs> uh, so here's one of the neater parts. Uh, you have this refrigerator, right? And this sword. So it, uh, there's a there's the chain is missing a link, right? And there's this sword, the dagger of Melkar. We're not gonna take it because if we take it when the thing's open, we will die. So we're gonna use the ring of contract to to make that closed and it says okay the chain is fixed and yeah we'll take this and let's just leave the really cool thing that they do with the design of, of this is like clearly something's trying to get out now that the dagger's not there the really cool thing they do with the design is if you if you die to that it like it like doesn't show what the thing is which I think is great like I oh. I like you like having to be like what the heck uh, this is one of the dumber puzzles in this part. There's jelly beans. Do you want to open the bag? Sure. Is this like birdie bots every Oh my god. You're the worst, Harry. <laughs> There's a key in there. What? That's it. It's the prize. <laughs> yeah, that part's kind of silly. Like, uh, what in the world? Now I just have it in a box of cereal. And oh. that key opens up a door uh, over there. <laughs> We're going to check this one out first. Uh, this is a heck of a room as well. Hmm. Oh, God. Like, like what you oh. done? Like what you done with the place, Alessa? Oh, jeez. So, at this point, we have three of the five things. An ank for some reason. This is, like, this... Is now, this is the part... This is the part that would throw you off most. Uh, earlier, I didn't go to a room where you have to, um... There's a key, right? Uh -huh. But there's power running through the key. You know, it's oh, like against so the wall. You touch it, you get electric. So you have to turn off the you have to turn off uh, that. But when you go in the elevator, it doesn't work. So no, thank you. Um, which is why you have to unlock this door so you can get back up the stairs. So you can get back up the stairs, quote unquote. Yeah, right. You like invisible enemies. I think they're a great element. They're just a great game. element. Uh, so you come over here. I didn't check it out earlier because whatever. There is a steel plate screwed to the wall. Well, what do we got? We got ourselves screwdriver boys. Now, if I would have came here before, that's why when I said, eh, I'll do this thing later, you would come here and it would it would say there's, there's electricity coursing through it. Well, guess what? There's not electricity coursing through it. We'll take this. Um, we're going to avoid that. And do you like how they're based off the worst enemy in the game? I love it. Don't you love it? <laughs> uh, and we're actually going to the home stretch now, guys. Really? Yeah. Wow. This is not a very long... If you if you don't know what you're doing, you would be going around for forever. But oh, if you know what gosh. you're doing, it's like very quick. Um, check out this cutscene real quick. Uh, the guy on the left is Kaufman. But it's not done yet. What? Who's like that? the... Half the soul is lost. That is why the sea yeah, We have not it. met this guy, right? No. And what soul remains captured in that husk? I think that's the other guy. He's yeah. buried deep down in the subconscious. Are you trying to say that's it work? That's Kaufman, yeah. So, two random so if, if you remember, this has a lot to do with... Remember when no. Lisa was like, no. Oh, there was like all this cult house. stuff and whatever? Obviously, Dolly is part of like some sort of crazy cult thing. Are they doctored? I mean, yeah, like pretty much the entire like town, all the big wigs were like part of this cult. Gotcha. 
But the bar will They're probably the doctors that transformed that you're fighting Almost against. Nothing. Unless we get the other half of the sword. <laughs> Unless we get the other half of the sword. <laughs> we use a <laughs> magical <laughs> spell. A magical spell? <laughs> Feeling this child's pain, it's sure to come. So, if they don't explain it fully in the end cutscene, it's pretty brutal. Oh god, they leave it all up to the final cutscene. Those mother effers. 